Mara nyingi tukiombea watu. I've come to discover some people were set apart by God many years ago. But the problem is when God appeared you did not allow the flow. Hiyo mikono yako ilibarikiwa zamani. You know, I was praying for a lady and I saw a vision. I saw a vision. I tell you nikimwambia, I saw a vision. Watoto wake wakipanda, wakibarikiwa. Nikamwambia dada andika maono and then do something. Even after that akasema nikamwambia can you go wapeleke his messages akasema eh hey, bishop how no ambaya nikamwambia skiza how can god speak na amemaliza maneno na wewe unaleta ingine yako do you know very few people understand prophecy ni watu wa cheche sana kuelewa unabii ukitembea i wish ukejua bwana alipotembea na unabii wako ushike and you flow with it i want to challenge you by the word of god even after god speaking releasing a prophecy concerning your home you are still yourself oh my god hallelujah nikwona kumbea somebody who is 50 I think 48 years. 50 and hajaolewa. Do you know what happened? Nikaona utukufu wa ajabu. And God, na mimi sikuwa najua I did know sikuwa najua hajaolewa. No. But I saw the glory of God and God said, "Can you tell her?" Nimemweka hivyo kwa kusudi la utukufu about how taliganishwa na wengine and there was such glory of god and and god showed me kuna furaha kubwa kuna kusudi la bwana lake kufika hiyo miaka kama hajaolewa oh it was so powerful and and, and i saw the great joy atakuwa naye great joy hallelujah but you see something friends kuitikia the truth from the mouth of god imekuwa issue kwa watu and i've come to discover so many people god spoke about you spoke about you and you missed the prophecy na hiyo kitu imenetea shida sana baada ya kujua ni watu wachache sana hutii bwana akiongea watu wana you know, kuna ile hali yako kuna ile misingi yako kuna ile misimamo yako kuna yale wewe unajua you you are so much glued you are so much so much so deep in yourself so deep in your experiences so deep and entangled in what you know kwamba Mungu akiongea you still remain the same and God is saying to me allow the flow do you know nobody is it's so easy to receive a miracle it's so easy to be healed is so easy to see the glory of god allow him allow the flow amen mara nyingi mimi ambao nimepokea great miracles au prophecy is so simple sometimes nikiambia mtu anambia god what is your will what do you want najipata bwana anambia yes muambie 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 hallelujah kama leo nimeombea watu zaidi ya 90 can i say something more than 60 people it was prophetic prayer mimi kuna watu ambao leo mimi sikuwaombea i just found myself prophesying 
out of almost 100 people, about 60 people, seek Wamba. It was just prophecy. Prophecy. Kuna majority about nimeona vision kwa husu. I wish to get allowed the flow. I come to discover. I've come to discover there is a mighty flow, a mighty flow, a mighty kingdom flow. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Now, ukere tabu chaluka, Luke chapter 1. I hope you can buy by Luke chapter 1. Verse 34. Verse 31. This is Mary. Wakati malaika limtokea akamsalimia. Ejo Gabriel. Asama, tazama, this is what they just said. Tazama, utachukua miba. Na kuzam toto mwanaume. Jinalake ata itwa yesu. Jinalake ata utamuita yesu. Huyu ata kuwa mkuu. Ata itwa mwana wa, wa alie juu. Na bwana mungu ata mpakiti cha enzi cha Daudi babaye ataimiriki nyumba ya Yakobo that is Luke chapter 1 verse 33 ataimiriki nyumba ya Yakobo hata milele na ufaume wake utakuwa una mwisho Mariamu akamwambia malaika litakuwaje neno hili maana sijui mwanaume malaika akajibu akamwambia roho mtakatifu Ata kujiria juu yako na guvu zake alie juu zita kufunika kama kivuli kwa sababu hiyo hicho kitakacho zaliwa kitaitwa kitakatifu mwana wa mungu tena tazama jamaa yanko Elizabeth nae amechukua mimba ya mtoto mwanamume katika uze wake na mwezi huu ni wasita kwake Yeye alie itwa tasa. Na mwezi huu ni wasita kwake. Yeye alie itwa tasa. Amen. Oh, na, oh my God. Na mwezi huu ni wasita kwake. Alie itwa tasa. Kwa kuwa hakuna neno lisiruweze kana kwa mungu. You, 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 you see friends, Ejo Gabriel comes with a very complete message. He says, now, Mary, you are favored among women. Now, and above it now, Mary, utakuwa na miba. I said, how? You would have talked about marriage. Now you are talking about pregnancy. How? I say, utakuwa na miba wewe. Sawa. What will happen? The Holy Spirit will come upon you and you overshadow you. And out of that, kutatokea miba. Na utakuwa na yo miba, ukiwa ukali, mwanamuke ambao ni virgin. Na, mwenye atakuwa hapo dani, ataitu wa mwana wa mungu alie ju, na atamiriki milele, Na ataokuwa watu. Amen. And then the angel looked. Akamutazama Mary. Akasama, Mary! Do you know your cousin? Elizabeth, yes. Si alitu atasa miakayote, yes. Si ata alizeeka akitu atasa, yes. Do you know something? She is six months pregnant. Alie itu atasa. Akona miba sasa ya mezi sita. And then the angel made a conclusion. Akamabia kwa mana. Hakuna neno lorote. Lisilo weze kana kwa ke mungu. And the angel departed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
And now Mary, if you check your Bible, the Bible says, Maliamu akasema, tazama mimi ni mjakazi wa Bwana. Na iwe kwangu, I would like you to say after me, tazama mimi ni mjakazi wa Bwana. Na iwe kwangu, kama ulivyo sema. Hallelujah. You know I'm going to wakulia hivi sema, Tazama mimi ni mjakazi wa Bwana na iwe kwangu kama ulivyosema Let me tell the truth there are mighty projects from heaven Friends when God spoke about kanisa la that you cost that almost 400 million wapendwa wapendwa let me tell the truth na msiona kama jambo dogo Mungu akutokea kwambie utanunua property ya 400 million kanisa out of kumi do you know what that means friends akwambie hivyo what do you think do not happen friends when that message came I, I was not all the bishop ambao naona. No. Nikaanza hatua. Hello, praise God. Nikaanza hatua. Now, something interesting. Nikajipata kwa your property. Na kuna mahi nifika kwa sababu God a my little real when I saw bank manager and some bank people, we are writing about bus chasing while we pend our account in only two million. God, what? Where? And, oh my God, I didn't know. And friends, come up on a project couple that you succeed from up. Lazima mujakazi ya seme, mujakazi ya seme, na iwe kwangu kama olivyo sema. Na mwenye kutumwa aseme kwa maana hakuna neno lisiloweze kana kwa ke mungu. Friends, who do you think? Na hii mwenye niambie, unafikiri mire alikuwa nakojia nini? Let's discuss this. Munafikiri mele alikuwa na goje aje mi vaya hore ghost. It has never happened. Methodology is unique. Haijulikani. It is never, never, it, and, listen, it has never and it will never happen katika mikona monadamu. And yet, jabo ambalo hailiweze kani kamwe kwa akiri ya mtu. Anali gojea. Jameni, nilini Mary ali conceive, ali juwaje. What happened? Mary ame gojia tu hivya na tebea kwa soko. And the Holy Ghost is of a shadowing him. Hakujua. Anajipata kuna miba. What was the feeling of this woman? Akiwa na miba ya Holy Spirit. And yet, ye ni virgin. Do you know kuna so many Mary ukiagalia katika Bible mambo mengi kuhusu hiyo mimba aliyaweka kwa moyo. Asema and he she pondered in the heart. When Mary aliona meza mtoto ambaye sio product ya ya yake. Sio product ya sperm, no human seed. What do you think Mary alifikiria? What do you think? Kwa maana mtoto kawaida hupata damu kutoka kwa bego ya baba yake. What do you think? Mera nifikiria. Where did this son get blood from? How can the Holy Spirit katika tubo aube mtoto na muube nizai? That's why Mary was so silent. And that's why the first miracle Yesu alifanya kana ya galili Mary aliambia watu I have my son with me I have Jesus Christ with me 
and whatever he will tell you, obey. I know from conception, this is unique son. Ninaomba, allow the floor. Shakata rabasanda. Rike posotori mama. I sense in my heart. Nasina shaka. My God, right now, kuna watu hapa nafuguliwa. For mighty projects. Mighty projects. Mighty projects. Oh my God, my God, my God. Shekata paposa. Mighty family project. Mighty prophecies. Oh, extraordinary messages. Glorious missions. In the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. You know what I'm going to do? Sema tena tazama. Mimi. Ni mjakazi. Wabwana. Na iwe kwangu. Come on, leave your shema. Time has come. Because I prayed for you. And I saw you are mighty people. And I made machozi when I was God of you to me. Some of you. Some of you. Muri yogopa. Wakati mungu wali watoka kama mire. Kuna watu hapa. You are not supposed to be there. I see you. I tell the truth. Kuna watu hapa. You are not supposed to be there. I see you. It's only that. You failed to respond like Mary. Useme mimi ni mchakazi wako. Na iwe kwangu. Come on if you seba. Kuna watu hapa about the only thing God demanded from you ni unyoshe mkono and God do the rest. No liogopa. Moses aliyabuaje nyosha fibo. Simple. Let God do the rest. Moses akabua nenea muamba. Allow me to do the rest. Wewe nena tu. Kazi yako ilikuwa kunenea ugonjwa. Kazi yako ilikuwa kunenea mikono yako. Kazi yako ilikuwa kunenea mfuko wako. Uliogopa. And now by the authority of God, nimeambiwa nije ni waamuru allow the flow. I say, kuna watu hapa that God amewatokea na mighty, mighty, not proposals, mighty, mighty release. Hala mashakara babo. Ukiwa bahati hii bwana uliangalia mjengo kaona God said nyumba kama hii I'll give you by next year. And you said how? How? Mary did not ask how. Kwa maana katika hali ya utu ageuliza how. Lakini badara kuuliza how alisema I am your board servant. I am your maid servant. Let it be unto me just as you have said. And if for allow, the operation started. The Holy Ghost started overshadowing. Oh, kukatokea me by a Holy Spirit. Ah, Mary became a project of Jehovah. I speak a prophecy to you. You are changing now to be a mighty project of Jehovah. God is appealing. You know, I look to heaven. There are big projects in the hands of God. Naangalia duniani. I just see small projects kwa mikono ya wateule. Mimi na waambia ni kwa beza buwana. Fear not. Amen. Now, you see, Mary did not contribute anything. The only thing Mary alitakiwa apeane ni ye mwenyewe and she allowed the flow. The last God you do it. You are, munaza kuwa so complicated as if you are the performer. Your work is to allow the flow. The performer is there. Iyo mikono yako itashika mambo ambao jehova meshema. 
time has come useme mimi ni mchakazi wako na iwe kwangu kama ulivyosema now another aspect do not mix the supernatural ideas with the natural ideas kuna mahali hazitapatana mere kupata miba the process haiwezi anywhere kukutana na natural there is no way me by a holy spirit the process and the idea could be accommodated na elimu ya madaktari na wasemi na mafilosofia wa sasa they can't kuna mambo wapendwa inabidi ukatalie kwa Mungu naomba Bwana sitoki hata mugu wangu hautoki nje yako i want to remain in you until the conception is clear nitaka paka ulichokisema kizaliwe kwa njia yako kwa maana kwa mwanadamu haiwezekani lakini maneno ulioniambia Bwana kwako inawezekana nikitoka nje itaharibika nitaka kwako ili niwe mchakazi ambao chochote wamesema kitatimia Mary do you know something friends nabia kitu do you know Mary did not even share na Joseph how could joseph understand that do you know who introduced the pregnancy to joseph is jehovah mary became pregnant how way mary again abiage joseph nikonami by holy spirit could that be possible to a man no so kwa kipindi fulani itabidi tu unyamaze ujione and that's why katika bahari ya shamu red sea god commanded people wanyamaze there are times when supernatural takes over god you demand stillness withdraw your opinion withdraw your perception withdraw your attitude withdraw it nyamazeni moses akabia watu nyamazeni whatever god want to do haiwezi kuwa mixed na your ideas wao walisema tutaka turudi egypt afadhali tugekufia huku tukiwa watumwa na tuzikwe kwa makaburi ya watumwa badara ya kufa kuja kufa hivi they saw death wakasema Moses we had told you we skiza if god is going to do a miracle funga kinywa chako na ufunge kelele ya moyo wako you could have either external noise or internal noise kuna watu wamefuga mdomo but they have internal noise right inside you are very noisy kule ndani una kelele nyingi sana ni mdomo tu uongee shut i say shut the internal noise and external noise shut it why mary agefikiria kupata miba hivyo ni nini imani ingeisha do you know wapendwa kufikiria vile hiyo nyumba ya that a million how can it happen within god itakuletea shida time has come you for the holy spirit for the holy spirit for the holy spirit i say any miracle any prophecy god releases inafuatwa na mungu mwenyewe dio neno litimia aliposema na lifuata neno langu nilitimize actually in the book of jeremiah it says i hasten i hasten to my word to hasten ni kukibia haraka hilo neno lisiaibike kukibia haraka litimie i hasten to my word to fulfill it and god said in the same way akasema na prophet neno lolote nimenena 
halitaenda bure lazima liwe performed na lirudishe shukurani mm, i want to mashakaraba i says in my heart neno amparo bwana amerinena Hey, limepita akili yangu limepita the way i am but i'm saying to you my father mimi ni mjakazi wako na iwe kwangu kama ulivyo sema it is beyond me lord sitachanganya hilo neno na ideas of men sitachanganya hilo neno na my feelings sitachanganya hilo neno na maoni sitachanganya father my god come you are word in my life it is sija ikachafuliwa na watu isija kaguka mikononi mwa wanadamu kwa maana uliogea baba si ya kawaida wewe ndiye mfalme the owner of your word pigeni yesu makofi i said to you when god spoke to mary mary could not be able to explain it is hard to explain that to joseph joseph just discovered unajua they were not married but engaged so they were staying far apart waiting for nakatika israel engagement was so official engagement was part of wedding kwamba ikifanyika lazima arusi kifanyika according to the culture it who, who engagement haikuwa inakubarika mpaka hata community na wazazi wakutana waseme we now confirm huyu anaoa huyu tukoje arusi sasa kigoje arusi hii ni miba and then maybe joseph thought it was unusual pregnant unusual growth unusual expansion unusual increase only to know his pregnancy mary haja mwambia mary could not explain out of his prayers by the grace of god hallelujah kwamba kuna mambo there are things in the kingdom ambao kianza ukianza kuna watu ambao ta involve itabidi waombe sana wa kuelewe itabidi waende pahali and by the way when god alikuwa anainua watu wa karibu wa Musa wa karibu hapa hapa wanaitwa burden bearers do not god say it can i tell you something if you read uh, if you read numbers 11 chapter 17 Mungu alikuwa anataka watu ambao Musa akisema Mungu atafufua watakuwa sema amen Mungu ak, Musa akisema Jehovah Jan kesho 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 ataponya viwete mia moja watakuwa akisema amen Do you know how do you know where they were born God commanded Moses enda katikati ya watu get 70 men with good reputation men of integrity men who know god get 70 and then god said nataka wapeleke mahari watu walio wanao imani kama yako wanaudiwa akawapeleka pahara jehova huwa anamshukia the tent of covenant a place where moses again that nobody else again hapo moses Moses used to go katika hema akisimama hivi Jehovah getokea wanaongea face to face and God said where I appear to you tunaongea face to face hapo ndipo kutazaliwa burden bearers so that they will be a burden with you nikisema ninafufua they will understand the flow nikisema 400 million millionaires they understand the flow i pray in this church tutapatikana watu watazaliwa pahali mungu alinena i saw a brother who said bishop or something i was in the spirit nikakuona mbebeba bakuri mejaa mafuta alikuwa amefunga na kuomba akiombea business yake ya mifugo amefunga god 
raise my business. You know, he saw Ariane Bepeba, Bakori, ya anointing oil. Akaba, unaomba bwana akuinue. Akaba, look at your bishop. My, I, I, I think the bishop, look at my servant, your bishop. I'm a beba mafuta. Na yo mafuta. Ni akuinua millionaires. Kwa ajili ya madhabahu. Aliabua, enda kwake. Akutia yo mafuta. Na akabu, after that, mifugo yako itakuwa connected na million anointing. Ha kujua, misi kujua. Sayo nenewa, na mini kukatika na nenewa. I said, friends, I pray. Ni obirangu ni kwa kwa this order. Kwamba kutapatikana watu. Tusikutane tu kwa ibada. Tukutane mahali utukufu wabwana utokea. Hili ni kisema tunaenda kufungua kanisa Johannesburg. You just flow with the glory. Ni kisema tunaenda kununua kujenga nyumba westerns. You flow with the glory. Ni kisema Jehovah rishema next year utakuwa na nyumba tatu za glory. You are unawezo katika roho wakuenea na hawa mafuta. That's why Musa rabwa leto watu sabini. And then mahali Musa mugu wana mtokea. Haka yabwa walete hapo. And then wakati Musa lisimama Jehovah akaja. Wakaza kuwagea na Musa. When God was speaking to Moses katika uwepo wa mugu akiwa hapo. Bebo sema sehemu ya mafuta ilio mwagi wa Musa ikagawa. Waze wakajaswa 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 waze 70 from that moment wakaza kutabili kama Musa from that moment Musa kawa na watu ambao hallelujah hallelujah network aliopewa na mungu they have it Nataka kama ni mefunga ni naona ikanisa ikienda bali. Kitabu ni marize kuna watu kama miyamoja who can sense where God is taking this church. It's my prayer. Bona kisema in this church anainua billionaires miatano kuta. When God is speaking kuena watu ambao they are burden bearers. Mafuta haya wako naye ya Bwana. Baba, they don't have to be told when I'll be announcing. You just be saying amen because it's confirmation. And with that, we'll be a mighty army moving across the Lord. Mighty army moving across the Lord. Mighty army moving across the Lord. Do you know something? Triple Kwa is the conference I prayed. Nabwana kaniambia, go and tell my children. Ninaagamiza. Haku niambia tu ni kusimamisha, anaagamiza stagnation katika the righteous. And I saw heaven open. Haka niambia, kutakuwa na connection direct. Haifanani na mambo mnaona hii ya siyasa na uchumi direct kwa mungu. Na tatubariki na utajiri ya bao mwanzo mwanzo watu watajua. Kama tu vile pregnancy ya Mary mwanzo mwanzo no one could understand. And God said, akaniambia, ataachiria anointing ya healing. Kwa maana the Lord leave you to me. Kuna magonjo wa kanisani. Shetani alikuwa meaza kwa bukiza watu ya kuwa kufupisha maisha yao. God showed me there are so many righteous people wana magonjwa about ya kufanya wa skam na mulefu. God said, I'm going to heal so much. Kwa sababu kuna kipidi cha utukufu, kuna kipidi cha kifame, ambao mungu hataki ukipindi ipite kama hucha shiriki. God will heal you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for there is a season of glory. There is a season of manifestation. There is a kingdom glory coming.
coming and God wants to make sure you participate and you are in it. And right now I want to say anybody who is sick and devil had claimed could terminate your life very soon, I won't tell you just, can you say, look at me, just wait upon the Lord, Utashaga. Doctor will tell you we can't see the decision. If you receive that prophecy, I would like you to continue. Tell the doctor, check, check. You'll be surprised. Doctor, tell you, we can't understand. We can't understand. You are part of your group. Mungu wa meshema mekuongezea mianka kwa sababu lazima ushiriki utukufu na okuja. I say God you heal you. I say God you heal you. There are so many. In fact, ata kuna watu wazee kanisani. Ambao ata ugezewa miaka tu na kuta mtu alikuwa labda kufa na miaka 78, miaka 8. But they will live up to 100 years. Just to, just to participate. To participate. You know why? Because kuna wazazi wetu. Ambao miaka 70. Wamekana machozi. Wamekana viki. Wamekana struggle. Na buwana angataka. Watoke duniani hii. Wakua wamembrudika. Wakiwa wamembrudika. Wa on the own become a David. David alisema. Buwana usiniache. Katika miaka yangu ya uze. Give me a space. David claimed a space. Ili niweze. Kuonyesha. Kizazi hiki. Matendo yako ya jabu. Do not leave me at my old age. That I may show this generation. You are mighty works. I say kuna wazazi wanaomba hivo. Na kilio chao kimefikia buwana. Hawa atachwa katika old age. They have a chance to prove to this generation. Horepa shakararaba. Sherari mazia taya rakapo soto. Riki pasa katarabi koshoto nima. Sima unamigu yako allow the fruit of God. Mabia bwana na iwe kwangu kama ulivyo sema. I'm your bold servant. I'm your bold servant. I am your bold servant. I'm your bold servant. Shakata paseka. Inamikono repa shakaraba bakata. Shekerere mazia rama. Kuna kusudi. God is releasing your purpose. Kuna hakuna mutu abure hapa. There is a purpose being released. Shekene makatara posoka. Mikatakia kosoto rima mama. Just continue in prayer. Continue in prayer. The Lord is releasing a purpose. Te kasoto rima mama. Makacha katara babozaya. Kote mi kasoto rima mama.